Okay, pardon any motion. This is handheld. I was coming out to the pond and I was just going to fish. I had a can of worms and just relax for a bit. Of course, I always bring the camera. But on the way out here, in some of this tall grass, I noticed something that I decided I would try and stalk down and use for um, fish bait. We shall see if I can catch any. I'm going to try not to make y'all too dizzy or anything like that with moving around. But There's one right there. Whoop, where'd he go? These suckers are easier to catch in the mornings. There he goes. And I missed him. Come it. In case you can't tell what I'm going after, I'm looking for grasshoppers. It being summer. Where'd you go? They're usually in the tall grass. frequently see them running when we cut it but I'm not seeing them right now I've seen a couple smaller ones definitely seen some leaf hoppers just gotta keep trying there's a little one right there ah <sighs> Of course, and that little patch right there by the pond, no sooner than I put the camera down, than I get this guy. I'm going to put him in my cricket cage and see if I can't catch a couple more. Then we're going to fish. Okay, so I spent a little time out there. Got about eight or so, a couple smaller ones, a couple larger ones, one brown one right there. We're going to see how that goes. I could have gotten more if I'd spent some time, but I started hearing thunder. I wanted to get to fishing. Next thing you know, we'll be out there with these things fishing. Okay. Got the little grasshopper. Much like you'd thread a cricket onto a hook. He's got a collar. You come here back behind the collar. You're going to thread him on the hook. Bringing the hook point out. His hindquarters. It looks something like that. I have a number six hook because bass have been known to hit these things, brim will hit these things, even catfish. I'm not using any weight, which I may regret with this wind today. I'm gonna hit the surface and do his thing. flat of a grasshopper on the surface anyway. Yeah, with that wind I'm going to need a little bit of weight to make this happen. Sadly enough, he's just not heavy enough with that hook. Take just a second get a split shot on here. The question was asked on a message board I frequent. How far up the line do you crimp your split shot above your bait. That's it right about there. Six inches. Not sure if I'm going to post this on that message board. We shall see. Depends on if I catch any fish or not. Of course, it's 
strong with this wind. Look at that. Look at that. what I'm talking about right there. If you don't believe a few minutes catching grasshoppers, it's worth having a little bit of fun. I don't know who you are. There we go. Ice number two. That looks like a one of the bluegills in the pond. Yeah, he's not a big one. Leave him on the hook here for just a second. See how he mangled that grasshopper up there? Nice little fish. Another fish. Another nice fish. Second fish on that one grasshopper. I apologize for the wind noise, and I'm sure you're hearing the thunder. Don't worry, I'm storms a good 10 15 miles away still there we go Now I know Juan Elo would consider that one a kind of a small one, but I'd consider him a keeper. Thing is, I don't really want to keep any today, I'm just out here having some fun. That's a little shout out to you Juan Elo, I'm going to do a hook and, hook and cook episode one day. I really enjoy your videos. I'm going to put a link to your channel in the description of this one, just because. That was catfish, folks. I know it was. Because the only three species of fish I have in here are the brim, bluegill, shellcracker, and even found a flyer in here. The bass and catfish I put in. Anyway, I enjoyed making this video for y'all. 
I got one last grasshopper left, and I think I'm going to let him survive to tomorrow because I just felt the raindrop hit my head. And I don't feel like being out here in the rain. Storm is coming in, y'all heard it. I watched it progress this direction. Ain't no point in being out here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all um, learned a little bit. I said it's not hard to get bait. All you gotta do is just put forth a little effort and then you're good to go fish.